as Stack said in the previous panel, we cannot manage what we cannot measure. So can you tell us how are technologies such as eDNA that you're working on that is kind of like getting a lot of traction here in Montreal, transforming the way that we account for nature in financial decision making? Yes, so um, my company, Nature Metrics, we use eDNA, and that's all the DNA that's left behind in the environment by um, every species, because every species in the world contains DNA. And one of the issues we've had with biodiversity is that lots of people think of biodiversity as being just the wild birds and mammals, the beautiful things that we can see. And that's just a tiny, tiny fraction of total life on Earth, which is microbes and fungi and uh, nematodes and all sorts of other things. And they're actually the things that drive business risk, that drive the nutrient cycles and the carbon cycles and basically keep us all alive. And so we need to be able to measure those things at a site level where companies have a really big impact. And that's what we do. We do a site level up. And we believe that by tracking um, the complexity of nature on a site, and then simplifying up to some simple metrics that can then be passed on to investors or supply chain buyers, we can get a very meaningful simplification of what nature is. 